First pitch, here it comes. That's it. First pitch. Swings and misses at that fastball. It's 0-1. The temperature at game time is 69 degrees. Winds are calm. From he throws. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. This one is into the gap, rolling toward the wall. Around second now, he's heading for third. The throw to the plate. And now, why not? He's trying for the inside the park home run. And he is in there. How do you allow that to happen on such a routinely hit ball? Fastball right down the middle. As a hitter, there's nothing you'd run. Now here's a swing and a ball hit on the ground. Hudson is there. I tell you what, there's a reason why that zone is colored red on his hit chart. That swung on and hit well. Deep center field. And it's back and over his head and should be good enough for extra bases. There's the throw. Iguchi is going to head for the plate. And he comes all the way around to score from first base. A runner in scoring position at third base and nobody out here. First pitch to him. Swung on and grounded towards the hole. And they just continue to tee off on this guy. This is swung on and hit on the ground. One run is in. Boy, they strung together hit after hit against this guy. And he has just completely lost it. Boy, they really jumped out of the gate here. A lead like this can change your whole approach to the game. Yeah, it looks like a line shot into center field. And it drops in for a base hit. And this one rolls all the way to the wall. Die is around third on his way home, and he will score from second. Not in time with the plate as he's able to score easily. And he just can't get anybody out right now. They've got to get him out of there. Here's one pop foul to short right. The pitch. Now he's a swing and a ground ball. And that will bring a run home. John, this ball is not hit particularly well, but he gets down the line quickly. He's able to beat it out for a base hit. The catcher sets up inside, but this is a guy that can handle that pitch inside, and he puts a good swing on this one. So let me show you my Dolphin gameplay setting for running the games in 4K. So let me go to the general first. I'm using the DirectX 11. You can easily use the DirectX 12. Only the downside is that when using DirectX 12, you cannot run the benchmarking tool. So that's why I'm using the DirectX 11. For me, both of them give me the same result. For the adapter, I'm using the dedicated GPU, which is the GTX 6060 Ti. Or if you are going to play games in 4K for the Dolphin GameCube emulator, I will suggest you to at least go with the GTX 1050 or GTX uh, 6060 or TI or higher graphic card because it will help you to play games smoothly and you can see so I leave the aspect ratio in auto sometime you running the games on 16 by 9 dip the frame rate and increase the GPU load for the enhan enhancement I'm using the 4K 6x for the internal resolution and for anti-aliasing i'm using the 2x if i try to go with 4x or 8x it will increase my gpu load when i am running the games with 2x it will only increase the gpu load up to 50 percent some games will go above 50 percent so that's why i need some space left for the gpu maybe some some games are rendering a scene which is very heavy so the fps is going to dip if I'm running at 4x or 8x, the game is going to struggle a lot to run. So 2x is the maximum I, I can recommend it. So this all of the setting and everything remain the same for hack and advanced. Now let me show you for the config. Everything remained the same. I didn't change anything. So yeah, these are the setting for the Dolphin emulator to run the games in 4K. You are free to use my game footage file make sure just to give me a credit to my gmail geek channel name and then i have done the entire gamecube 
games library in 4k so every day i'm uploading sing one video at least for it i hope you can subscribe share my video and then above all i want you to leave a comment to let me know do you think the game is playable how is the audio quality how is the frame rate let's start the discussion in the comment section box below gamecube revolution gamecube will live forever subscribe and bye mm-hmm.